Human rights activist and coordinator of the Fiji Women's Crisis Center, Shamima Ali, has spoken against the suggestion made by the Minister for Women, Children and Social Protection, Linda Tambuya. The minister sparked controversy over her advocacy uh, for the death penalty to be considered for those caught with large quantities of drugs. While speaking to Fiji One News, Ali says the idea is a regress from democracy and basic human rights. Jonathan Kumar with the details. In response to an announcement made by the Minister for Women, Children and Social Protection, Lena Tambuya, the Fiji Women's Crisis Centre stands together with the Fiji Human Rights and Anti-Discrimination Commission against Linda's idea, stating it would be regressive for democracy and human rights. The coordinator for Fiji Women's Crisis Centre, Shamima Ali, says it is quite sad that a political leader is talking about bringing back the death penalty. Well, uh, we, the Fiji Women's Crisis Centre, we totally support the statement from the Fiji uh, Human Rights and Anti-Discrimination Commission. And uh, the chair is right in what he is saying. Uh, the fact that uh, uh, you know that this is a uh, for us it is a regressive uh, step in you know the the, the, the in, in the evolution of democracy, uh, human rights, and so on. Very regressive to and and it's counterproductive. And this is not something we call for. The death penalty has been banned, and most prog progressive countries would not even talk about it. So it is. Quite sad that a leader, uh, a, a political leader, a national leader, is talking about bringing back the uh, death penalty. And uh, the, the, the problem is that everyone has a knee-jerk reaction to the drug issue. We are not sitting down calmly, looking at the evidence, and, and then working our strategies. And uh, so it's just very, very unfortunate that uh, the Minister for Women has come out with this statement. And uh, what we are calling for is that, uh, is that we all get together as a country, all of government. Meanwhile, the opposition member of parliament, Captain Lal, yesterday released a statement calling on the prime minister to dismiss the minister for women without delay. In his media statement, he says the Ministry of Women is entrusted with protecting the most vulnerable in our society, promoting gender equality and upholding the dignity and rights of all Fijians. By advocating for such an extreme and harmful measure, the minister has betrayed these responsibilities and jeopardized the integrity of her office, he said. Lal adds her position is untenable and her continued presence in the cabinet sends a dangerous message that extreme punitive measures which directly contradict the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the 2013 Constitution under which she took her oath of office is acceptable by the coalition government. Uh, you know, there are lots of people sitting in that August house that we should be calling for the re uh, resignation for things worse than this that have happened. Uh, this is a regressive uh, step by Linda, uh, Linda Tambuya, and uh, we should address it and we should condemn it, but not go so far as so drastically, doing something so drastic as to call for her resignation. I don't believe that is fair. And it's only ha th this call has only come because she's a woman. In response to this statement by the MP, the FWCC says the regressive step made by Tambuya should be addressed, not condemned. So it is quite sad that a leader, uh, a, a political leader, a national leader, is talking about bringing back the uh, death penalty. And uh, the, the, the problem is that everyone has a knee-jerk reaction to the drug issue. We are not sitting down calmly, looking at the evidence, and, and then working our strategies and uh, so it's just very very unfortunate that uh, the minister for women has come out with this statement she adds the country the government and civil society should calmly discuss a solution to the prevailing drug issue instead of knee-jerk responses jonathan kumar vg1 news